So it's been a long time since I've done a freediving tips video. Uh, last month I was in South Africa and I did the Antipolis wreck diving uh, video. So if you're interested in wreck freediving, uh, go and have a look at that video. It's pretty sick. And for today's topic, we're going to be doing seven things that freedivers should always do. So let's get started. So tip number one, always dive with a buoy. This is a typical freediving apina buoy. What you do is a uh, attach a rope to the buoy and uh, tie it down onto the bottom uh, with a weight or a hook or something like that. It gives you something that you can hang on to while you're doing a breathe up so you don't have to try and kick to stay in place. You can just hang on to this and relax and do your breathe up. And more importantly is that it makes you visible uh, to boat traffic so boats are not going to drive over and, and hit you or anything like that because when you're face down in the water it's very difficult for boats to see you. So especially on these busy dive sites. Um, every year we have accidents of free divers getting hit by boats. So always dive with a buoy. Tip number two, always stretch before you get in the water. Um, this is something that we're taught to do to always stretch, but not many of us really do it before we jump into the sea. So stretch before you get in the water. There's all the free diving specific stretches, like stretching the sort of the sides of your lungs. Um, some other more basic stretches, you know, you kind of stretch, stretch here, stretch there, stretch your neck, um, stretch your thighs, your calves, you know, all the typical uh, stretches you do before any exercise. Um, just do them before you get in the water. It's going to protect against cramps and uh, specifically the lung type stretches, they're going to protect against injury because, you know, you really get compressed when you dive deep so you really want to be uh, all supple as, as supple as possible to uh, prevent any injuries so always stretch uh, before getting in the water tip number three plan your dive this is the same with uh, in scuba diving you'll also learn in the open water plan your dive uh, free diving is the same when I'm talking about plan your dive I'm talking about you know what's the water temperature like you know what sort of wetsuit am I going to need what's the current doing is the current you know fierce current going to pull me me away uh, what's the visibility like uh, what's the bottom composition like is it sand is it reef um, kelp forest uh, boat traffic you know are any boats you know coming into the dive site fishing boats uh, scuba 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 tour boats dropping off divers are they going to hit you you know do you have to watch out for that where do you get in the water? Where do you get out the water? You know, maybe you can even get some more local knowledge about the dive site so that you can uh, maximize your dive, um, expect the things that could possibly go wrong and evaluate you know, what you're gonna do should any of these situations occur. Tip number four, always keep your buddy informed about what you're gonna do. So tell your buddy how deep you plan to dive. You know, make sure he's okay uh, to buddy you, that he understands, you know, maybe you're gonna go down down on the rope and you're going to hang for 30 seconds. Tell your buddy this so he knows, so he doesn't panic. If you're diving through a wreck or a cave, tell your buddy, I'm going down, I'm going in the cave here, I'm going to come out of the cave there, so he knows where to look for you. Don't just disappear and leave him on the surface, or even if he's not looking for you, make him aware that he needs to look out for you, uh, you know, what you're going to be doing, when you're going to be coming up, so that he can safety for you. Tip number five, if you're diving in a big group, like, you know, three, four, ten of you are getting in the water, pair up before you get in the water. Don't just go as a group into the water and just dive. Maybe you're, you are one person, you dive down, the other nine people in the group see a sea turtle and they go off that way and nobody's watching you and nobody knows who's responsible for who. Don't do this. When you're on the shore, before you get in the water, pair up. Pair everybody up so that they have a buddy and uh, so that buddy is sure to be always watching that person. Tip number six, always be properly hydrated. In any free diving course, they always stress on this point, always be correctly hydrated. So before you get in the water, drink something. Drink, you know, drink, uh, drink a bottle of water. Take a bottle of water out you. Uh, Tie it onto your boy or put it in your boy and take it out with you. So you have a bottle of water out there while you're diving. When you're in the water and you start dehydrating, you just don't notice it. And uh, it really severely uh, affects your performance. You'll start cramping easier. It can sort of like even mentally kind of impair you. 
So you're just never going to be able to dive at peak performance if you're not properly hydrated. So pay attention to this. Tip number seven, always get the right amount of surface interval between dives. Um, you can't just come up to the surface, take a few breaths and go back down again. You need to uh, reserve the proper amount of surface interval between dives. I cannot find any specific rule that says how long you should stay on the surface. It's very hard to find a specific rule. But as I've said before, at least double your last dive time is a reasonable estimate. So if you're down for one minute, rest for two. If you're down for two minutes, rest for four. Um, don't do a long dive, come up, breathe for 30 seconds, and then go back down. You haven't recovered, and uh, you're going to put yourself at risk. Okay, and that was it for seven things free divers always do. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Uh, remember, this is not a substitute for a free diving course. Uh, this is just some sort of verbal information I'm getting, giving to you. But you know, only a qualified free diving instructor can take you into the water and teach you how to dive. So I hope that you will, you guys will all go on and learn how to dive properly. Um, as for me. I'm going on a diving trip, I won't say where, but I'm going on a diving trip next month, middle of next month, and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to make a really sick video, so stay tuned for that. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.